What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. Today I'm going to be doing some design tips and tricks and then a few um, reviews on some people's cities just to kind of give them some advice on some pointers or whatever. So usually what I'll do is people will basically ask me to kind of review their city and if you want me to review your city then you'll need to add me as a friend on Facebook. All I ask is that you don't buy from my depot unless you ask me first because a lot of my items are for people. Okay, so I'm gonna do the design reviews on other people's city here in just a minute, but before I do, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I try to put stuff out like every week, but um, the last couple weeks I haven't really been doing a lot of streaming because I've been super busy and not feeling all that great. Okay, so uh, I did manage to kind of finish up my cactus map here. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got going on here. I bulldozed a lot of the residential homes that I had, you know, on this map because I didn't really want that many of them. Now I do need to eventually convert the services on this map over to Omega, but right now I'm not really focused on that. So at first I was just kind of messing around with the heart and just drawing the design in general. And then I ended up, what I was going to do was I was going to do like another heart up here and then, you know, two more little ones, but I decided not to. So this is the end result of this map for now. And then what I decided to do was I was going to um, just tear apart everything that I design and then do a video on it and then basically um, kind of tear that apart and then do another video and just keep designing and doing different things. Now a lot of you guys have trouble with trying to figure out what it is that you want. First thing that you need to do is figure out which direction you want your city to face. I know I've said this many times in my videos, but that is super, super important. Second thing is figuring out where the, your services, shops, and factories are gonna go. Okay, once you've got those in their general placement, then you can figure out you know, where you want the, the general gist of houses. So like, if you know you want houses in a specific area, and a lot of you guys following the Missy's Building Guide, thankfully, you guys have the Maxis's which is gonna make a huge difference when it comes to designing, right? Because like having to put police, health, fire, and regional coverage is really ugly and it's a pain in the ass. So, I mean, be grateful that you have those maxes. Okay, now let's go to a couple people's cities here because it's gonna be easier for me to say what I wanna say while looking at their cities. So I'm gonna go to OBSO first. Now, a lot of you guys, you need to figure out what your main attraction is gonna be. Even if it's not necessarily in the center of your map, you need to figure, figure out like what is your city based on? Is it based on a big design? Is it based on a waterfront? Is it, um, I mean, what, what is it that draws you into your city? Okay, so right here. It looks like he started on this side of his map. And to me right here, okay, so what it looks like to me is this person has no clue what they want to do yet, which is not, you know, a horrible thing. But what a lot of people do that are low level like this they put, first off, they put a lot of their buildings in storage so they kind of forget what they have, you know? If you're somebody who's a lower level and you have your entire map opened up, don't worry about make, stretching everything thin. That is one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they try to fill out their whole map to make it look good. Like if they're doing water, let's say that you are short on water or trees. What a lot of people will do is they will just draw the main, the main gist of, of the water. Like they'll put like a pond all the way back, you know, to give the illusion of a river, but they haven't made the river yet. And to some extent that's okay. But for the most part, what ends up happening is people, the details of which you're designing, they get spread so thin that they look like shit, 
right? And so what you should do is place the things that you know. So for instance, I can pretty much conclude that this is the way his city is going to face. Now, I can tell the general idea of what he likes is kind of the, the tree water line with the, the landscape type terrain is what I'm looking at here. Now, I think what this person wants is they want little islands of stuff surrounded by trees and animals and things like that. But more importantly, they need to figure out, figure out where they're going with this. You know, where, where's their water going? Is it, because what it looks like here is it looks like it's just leaking out everywhere and you don't want that, okay? What it looks like is he puts down an attraction, he puts down the trees, and then he surrounds that with water. And what you really should do, if you can, is you should work in one area, make it look good, and then you can venture off. For example, here, this looks really good, right? Why? Because he put time into this one little area right? So he's got this kind of curved here. The water's going somewhere. It has a shape. It's not just leaked out everywhere. So what he needs to do is figure out where this here is going, right? So is it going to go straight back? Is it going to kind of veer off? It, you know, what he really should do is work on this area right next to it. This should be his next main, um, area that he works on. Now, it looks like the water is going off to the right, okay? But this road that he's got drawn here with these trees, this is all a waste of road, a complete waste, right? Because it's just trees. He could do the same thing, but utilize that roadway with maybe a Ferris wheel or, you know, um, islands or homes or whatever the case may be. But what he needs to do is figure out what he wants in general. So starting in the corner is not the best plan, okay? If you are going to start in the corner, start with something like main, like up front or something like that. For instance, he has all of these mountain homes, okay? It looks like he may want to put them all on one island, you know, or like maybe in groups of five or six or whatever the case may be. But the point is, try to utilize it and make it shape to whatever terrain you're putting around it, right? So what I've noticed when he had his homes out was he had them lined up, right? And then he would surround them with water and then he'd line them up again. Try to cluster them together. They look better that way. If you do want them lined up, try to make it to where it you, you got to figure out what's going on on the other side, right? So like right here, there's this huge opening in these, the, the roads are so long on this map, right? So what he really should be doing is he should figure out what he wants this centerpiece to do. So it looks like he had, okay, so he took down these waterfalls. Let's see. So I'm going to give him some ideas what he could do with his map. First, first off, this uh, island here, it looks good. Um, something like this. Okay, this also looks good. But you see how the water is what's shaping the land rather than the land shaping the water, if that makes sense? That's what you don't want to do. Kind of like what I did on my limestone map, right? I did, I let the water shape the land and it just, it looks bad. Um, if that's something that you want to do, that's totally fine but I just think it looks like shit. But what you can do is you want to work, like I said, in one area. So what, for example, this to me, the reason he can't figure out what he wants to do is because he's trying to do too much. So what he should do is take all of his, um, his homes here. And well, first and foremost, he, he needs to move, get rid of these services. Okay. These are garbage. They're not going to be used anymore if he has four maxuses, which I don't know if he has four. If he has four maxuses, then he can go ahead and bulldoze those services. He's got one, two, two, I think he's got two. 
he might have more it's kind of hard to tell oh wait yeah one two three four okay so he can go ahead and bulldoze those now right now he's got quite a few homes yet to convert to epics but more importantly he needs to have the general gist so if you take a piece of paper and you jot down the type of homes you want which he clearly wants mountain homes then to me it looks like he wants little streams try to figure out what you want with your land so like do you want a shape do you want a diamond and do you want the, the he said he wanted the centerpiece so if it was me what I would do is I would clear all this out okay moving everything out the way and then I would go to the very center of your map since you want a centerpiece and I would figure out what is it that you want in the center of your map what is the main thing that you want and then what you should do depending on what that thing is is you should draw a dash of road don't draw big long roads just draw a dash and place that building down then venture from there and say okay what do I want to surround it and can you surround it with dashes of road or do you need to have roads that connect with each other one of the things that he could do is do a diamond shaped um, centerpiece he could do a circle he could do walls um, there's all kinds of things so I'm going to show you guys on I cleared out my green map so that I could show you guys a couple different techniques on how to make it look good or how to kind of get started is what I should say because I noticed like with a lot of people it's the getting started and the fact that they're trying to do too much way too much just worry about making one area look immaculate versus trying to make the whole map look okay if that makes sense so for instance right here this here I cleared everything out I moved the all the homes over here and all of these homes don't really have um, services they're a little pissed at me right now because I kind of cut off their their road here so I should probably for the time being I'll go ahead and give them their road back okay so let's put these here no way I don't have to look at that okay so in order for me to be able to place homes within this area I want to make sure that I have coverage so I want to know exactly where my coverage is so I have health coverage pretty much everywhere okay and then I have police everywhere but like right through the middle and then fire I have everywhere but this top left okay now let's see right now I'm not gonna worry too much about the the homes because I'm working on showing you guys some stuff so I'm gonna move these services over so that I have some room Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze all this stuff out. Do not upgrade any roads. You guys should have your roads set up to never need upgraded. If you don't know how to do that, then type in never upgrade your roads again video because you definitely do not want to be paying for road upgrades until you are ready to pay for them. For those of you who don't know, yes, you can you can set your game up to where you never have to pay for road upgrades and it does not affect your happiness no matter how much traffic you have. So like I said, if you don't know how to do that, type in never upgrade my roads again and watch my video on that. Okay, so. Right here, let's say that this is your capital map and this is your center point and you're starting out. Let's say that you wanted to do a centerpiece so you're like well I don't really know what I want but I want let's say you wanted to do a, like a castle in the center okay so we'll put the castle out for just a second and then we'll draw a dash of road now this particular building always sits like offset drives me nuts 
Okay, so let's say that that's your, your center point here. Now, one of the things that you can do, depending on what you want to put here, is you can do like a, a circle, and that way you can put stuff on all four sides of this circle, depending on what you want to use. That's what I did on my, my limestone map. Okay. So, let's... Let's say that that is your centerpiece. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's use the... Where'd it go? Ah! Let's use the Statue of Liberty. Okay, so we've got the Statue of Liberty. And we've centered it. All right. That's our main point. That's what we're going to focus on. So now we need to figure out, like, what way do we want the water? Do we want it in a shape? Do we want it in a circle? Let's say we want it in a shape. So let's start by doing that. So let's do one, two, three. Oop, wrong one. Four, two, one, three, four. We might have to recenter this here in a second. Yeah, we're going to recenter that. Because this is just an example. I don't want to be here all damn day. So, sometimes you can get them to like place down without a road and then draw the road after the fact. Now, in order to have this stupid thing face me, which now I can't see it, I think that's facing me. Okay. Hell. Draw, oh, you piece of crap. Okay, so... <coughs> Depending on the type of building, if you use a building, like this you have to face it a certain direction but if you use a more universal building like let's say the Tokyo Tower you can put the road on the back side unless there's something specific that you want to put there I think I'm actually going to go with that uh, that castle I think it'll look better I hate how it doesn't look center. It's gonna drive me crazy. All right, let's go with this ugly ass thing. Okay. <laughs> so now we've got this diamond. So Let's say that this was your capital map. What you could do is go to the point of the diamond on all four sides, like all four points, and extend the water from there, right? Now, we want to kind of fill some of this in. Not all of it, but some of it.
actually, let's say that we were going to do, hang on, okay, so like, let's say that you wanted to put a park here. Okay, so it's more of like a, a swampy park. Now this one has the purple flag, so it does that parade thing. Now, we're going to bring a bridge off from the island. Okay, now... Let's do, which bridge? We need something that I have a lot of because I don't want to have to buy anything. Okay, so we're going to have to go with suspension because I have a lot of those, which I normally would not use this bridge here, but whatever. Okay, so for the purpose of the video, we'll do something different over here kind of try out a couple things. Okay. That definitely does not look good. I think the suspension looks the best so far. But let's say that we went with the suspension on both sides. What could we do in terms of terrain? We could put, because we have this, um, this road here. So what we want to do is we want to make it to where that road is as like, you don't really want it to be as visible. You know what I'm saying? Like, because roads look like shit. To, at least I think so. I always try to block off my roads as much as I can. So I would probably do something that popcorned out a little bit. And then, you know, added some darkness to it since this is that swampy type feel. Now, I would, because of this, the way that this lake is, I would probably take the lake out because of the way that it's shaping with the trees. And put in... A pond here. And it shapes a little bit better. Or what you can do is put another tree there. Something that conforms to the water a little bit better, like that one. See how it overlaps with the water a little bit? Okay, so. Now, let's say that we wanted to have this branch off. Now, we've got this here, which we can utilize, or we can say, okay, we're going to go, let's bulldoze that for a second. Let's try something else. Let's go this direction with it, right? <coughs> now, right here, this would be a good place to put like a sideways building. So like, where's that stupid thing at? This stupid thing would look good sideways right there, right? Or this is a universal building, so it can go like on the front side. One of the, um, let's see. Okay, so like this is kind of a Tokyo themed style. Let's see what else do we got here. So, <clears throat> this is our exit off of the island. Now we can put a bridge on this side if we want. Or we can say screw it and not. But more importantly, let's say we put this here. So this blocks off any bit of road. You can't see the road, right? So we can put whatever we want there. So let's start with, let's say we did that right? Like that. 
that we could do that or we could do houses we could let's see let's let's fill in the area and I'll show you what this will look like a little bit better see which trees I have the most of right now I've used a lot of my stuff up okay <coughs> so that looks you have to be able to kind of envision what something's going to look like without entirely finishing it so let's say that we were to do these trees like that now without paying for all of them we just want to get a general idea of what it's going to look like See, to me, that looks really cool with the, the way that those trees are. So if we were to draw this down, we're assuming that you're on your capital map and you can go further with this, right? You could even make the, the water double wide or whatever. But let's say that you did... Where's that suspension bridge? So we're kind of going for a dark look here. So I think we're going to stick with the dark trees. The dark style trees. Let's put that there. Let's see if we can... See, I don't know if I like how thin these trees are, so I probably won't use those. But just keep trying out different types of stuff. Now, let's go for... We have this road back here, so we can put, like, pretty much anything there. I think we're going to go with... Do the Eiffel Tower and then let's see. We just want to get the idea of like, does this clash? Does it not clash? It doesn't really clash, I don't think so. I think the darker ones look better though, so I'll probably just do the darker ones. Okay, um, let's see. We've got, we want to make it look like there's water going around, so we'll do that. And then we'll probably add another. Tree there. Okay. So, for now, that looks okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. That tree right there is a glitch. Okay. 
Okay, so like, let's say that we weren't going, we don't even have to do the bridges if we don't want, but let's say that we were gonna do something else. Like, let's say we wanted to put this road and have it go like off over a little bit, right? We could have the road, you know, break off through here if we want. But more importantly, what you guys can do, and it, it doesn't take long to like tear, tear stuff apart and just restart. So like, let's say that you, you didn't like this idea that you had going on here, then don't settle for something you don't like. You know, too many people settle for stuff that they don't like. So... Let me try something else. I'm going to show you guys something here. Okay. So let's say that you're working in an area and you decide that, let's just say you decide that you wanted to bring the water through, through here and make like a waterfall. So you would move the bare minimum that you have to. And you would start shaping the water where you want it to go. Okay, so one of the, the things that I was talking about, you guys, what this person did. Let's say you have, uh, let's see. Let's say you have a block of houses, okay? Oops. This is gonna be a small example, but imagine this, you know, a little bit larger. Okay. So in order for you to have three going this way, you would have to have the road drawn along the back side in order for the middle house, right? So let's say you did a block of houses like this. It has to connect at some point. So you can either connect it with, you know, a bridge or a road or, or whatever. But Let's say you do this. <coughs> you have these roadways around the outside that you can utilize. Now with the mountain homes, the good thing about the mountain homes is that you can place them on this side of your display and have them actually look decent, right? So one of the, the things that you can do, let's say that you do it like this. the mountain homes or whatever so you've got this area here and you can fit like double the houses if you do it like that right so let's say that you went with something kind of boxy like this now what he did was he put the water kind of up against like this but what when it looks tacky is when you bring it all the way up to the road or all the way up to the houses like that. If you bring it over one and then maybe like that, you know, that would be okay. So then you take trees and you start to draw the, 
the landscape line, right? Let's say you wanted it to go down this way. So you grab some water and you start bringing it down this direction. Notice how we're not doing it all like straight and perfect. So we're just gonna get the general like stencil of it. Now obviously these roads are not gonna remain here like that but we're not really worried about all that we're, we're, we're kind of focused on like what we're doing here okay so we can fix that up later but Okay, now, let's, let's bring the tree line down just a little bit here, and then we can do, where's that? Now, one thing you guys can do, or should do, is try to be creative with your the placement of your trees. Try not to, what I've noticed a lot of people are doing is they're running the trees all along the roadways. First off, that waste roadways. But even if it didn't, your trees are so straight, they look like almost, they look way too good, if that makes sense. And they just, that, that makes it not look good. So, what I usually try to do here is let's say that we were to do like um let's go do like a cluster here say that it kind of wraps around like that go up that way and then we'll do so I could put water there but it would probably look like shit so I'm actually just going to put trees there okay now So it looks like a more natural flow of things, right? Now, let's say you're like, well, I don't know which way I want to have this um, kind of meet, get the, the services or whatever, meet to the main road. Try to have that stuff done where you can't really see it, right? So like, if this is the way your city's facing, you can do it here. Or you can say, okay, I'm going to scoot this over just a bit, and then you can put the, the bridge right here, the road here. Like, let's just say this was a bridge right here, you know? 
Now, if you did it like this, you could put another house here and then put a bridge here. Or what you can do is put a house here like that. See how many houses you can fit if you click kind of like cluster them together now when they're mountain homes they actually look good when they're done like this so let's say you did that like that and then Yes, this bridge is ugly. Okay. All right. Now, we could do that or we could put more houses here if we wanted to. Obviously, this is just a stencil. But more importantly, we know which way the water's going. So if we were to take, obviously I wouldn't use these trees, but like, let's just say we were going to. We have a general area or shape or whatever in which this is going. So we wouldn't leave this area until we were done here, okay? We wouldn't move anything around. Now, if you look at this, I would say, okay, I need to, or I could, not need to, but I could have this connect to the main road and do like a, A bridge like that right and then I could say okay I'm gonna do now we'll go like the way this is facing at all anyway you get the point you could put something there if you wanted like that or you can use like universal style um, parks so you could go to the like a graveyard or you could do the bunnies See, like this one, I would put probably right here. And then I would probably probably do the, I don't know, maybe even the yellow kind of bring it out the colors a little bit and then maybe do something dark in front like that but you know like these areas here with the trees going up against the the roadway here I try not to do that I try to put like uh, parks or whatever there so like I would normally probably do like the little pink parks like maybe one on each side of the bridge or something So I would probably do one here.
So I usually try to put a dark tree on the back side of the pink park. It makes it look like um, brighter, you know. Usually when I try to block off roadways, I try to use the more dense trees. But you guys, I mean, just kind of mess around with it. If you don't like it, take it apart. But more importantly, just work one tiny area. Don't... Too many people, they, they are like... They zoom out. And they do way too much at once. So like, for instance, right here, I had intended for the water to go the other way. But right now, let's say that I was to go... With this. Put this here. And go with the more dark you know, style theme or whatever. And let's say we did the dark trees. too big. So, okay, that's Now this tree stands out in a bad way, so I'm going to move that, and then what I'll probably do is scoot this one over, and then put water here to make it so there's not... there we go. Okay, now, see this is looking a little bit more natural, so let's say that I was like, well, I want to go ahead and put the houses, you know, along this area. I would... I'm not going to do it for... The purpose of the video because I don't want to bulldoze this road it's expensive but let's say that I was doing this and I was trying to design I would bulldoze out these roads now if you end up knowing that you want to keep a piece of the road what you can do is you can just say okay draw this and then bulldoze a piece and that way you don't bulldoze the whole damn thing right and then what you can do is start on the the edges and put your your buildings there and then you'll have to kind of slowly work your way you know around or whatever but the point is that you have this area shaping now another thing is doing road designs okay if you are going to do road designs try to make them actually look good and try to utilize the the roadways the best that you can for the buildings that you have available. So I'm really bad at road design ones. Let's say that you wanted to do you know how ah, okay hold on. Say you did that, right? And then you were gonna go with You would want to do that on the other side and then what you could do I totally misjudged that Okay. 
So let's say you did something like this, right? And then you're like, well, I want to put a river through. So you want to leave some area between the road and the water for trees, but you want to put a bridge. So you put your 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 stuff there for your bridges, okay? got this area and you know you're going to go straight down with the water for now. Now you have to decide if you're going to put houses, you know, along here like so, like that, and then put trees or are you going to Do something like Universal. You could just do a bunch of parks going this way. Obviously, you wouldn't do these parks, but you get my point, right? And then you would say, okay, I've got trees that I can do now. Kind of in between everything. And start shaping the water. Figuring out which way you want to go with the water. Now it went dark. You guys, this, this video is getting really long and I need to do your guys' city design reviews. So I'm going to get this one uploaded and then I will do your reviews.